it's I don't know, I don't really know how I'd explain my disability it's in a wheelchair. Um, people usually don't ask any further than that, so. Uh, spinal muscular atrophy type 2 is what I have, and it means my muscles don't develop. So it's a genetic disorder that means I have the same muscles as when I was born, and that's pretty much it. I have to have other people doing stuff for me. I mean, I'm sure it would be easier if I was able to just get up, make my own breakfast, and head off to uni. But it's just the way it is. It's my life, and it's the only one I got, so. But yeah, I've never been able to walk. I, I mean, I used to be able to feed myself. I can't do that anymore. Now that my body is getting weaker and I'm able to do less, I've had to just place trust in people's hands and hope for the best. I started writing my first lyrics, I think it was about third form. Music is universal and a song is kind of the chaos of the world in a beautiful I'll put it this way. The stuff I'm saying to you now is a stream of random thought. Chaos. Um, when you put it in lyrics, you organize that chaos. I think it takes a lot more to be my friend than it would take to be anybody else's. Um, so if somebody's my friend, then I already have a great amount of respect for them, purely because they're patient enough to put up with me and put up with my extended level of needs. I think in that last one, I will catch you when you fall. I think keep the same. I will catch you when you fall. I think I'm at a much deeper connection with some of my friends um, than I would have ever been if I was able to walk or if I was able to be, for lack of a better word, normal. Like a brother. Hey. That's the way we are. Mm-hmm. It's how we roll. It's how we roll. And as I said before, the lyrics are amazing. Like, if you read through some of these, um, it's like the end of the chorus. It's like, my life's not a fable, my heart's on the table, but there is no beauty for the space. It's so real, the darkest night is over You gave me power to return It's so real, I've come back to you Those fearful times are through I've come back from hell's gates To my rightful place I am home, so forgive me For leaving your side You are my bride, my the idea of having a girlfriend has always been a high priority of mine. But more recently, I've kind of taken a bit of a 
a bit of a tougher look at it, I guess. Um, because for a long time, I didn't really care how I got there, I just wanted a girlfriend, that was it. I've asked a girl out. I'm gonna say, you know, if we do have something to eat, you're gonna have to help me. Is that something you're okay with? If not, the date's not gonna happen, it's that simple. Because I need a girl that will be willing to help me. So embrace my broken body, rock me slowly as time stands still. Feel my tears, my weary soul. I was cold until you. My older brother Ryan, he, he has the same disability as me, um, which means that he had to succumb to um, a wheelchair at an early age. Um, he's one of the strongest people I know, if not the strongest person I know. My mum, Judy, is, she's an incredible woman, and um, <laughs> this is stuff that I'll never say to her face, of course, but um, she is an incredibly amazing woman who's done just a gigantic amount, more than she should have to. Kendall's probably the most like me in the family. She just seems to enjoy everything that she can. And then there's Walsa. Um, she is a very independent young woman. And then there's the clown of the family, Reese. He is nuts. And then there's me, and I love me. I'm incredible. You know, I guess it's, it's beneficial having a person who's had similar experiences or sometimes even the same experiences. Pretty much I just talk and he pretends to listen. That's the majority of our relationship, I think. I sure don't want you to that. Yeah, we're heading off to interview someone to be my new caregiver. Um, he's going to look after me for the year. Not in the face. Sorry. Just lock you up, Crap, we've got 10 minutes. We've got 10 minutes. Yep. Huh. Every now and then I'll want to do something which I'm not able to do, but I, I don't bother spending too much time thinking about it. I mean, if I'm always wanting something more that I'm never going to have, then I'm just setting myself up for disappointment. Do you want me to hold you? No, it's pushed. Yeah. Ah, uh, listen, my sister. Good to finally meet you. Uh, yeah, same, same. Yeah. Um, so you've had experience doing this before? Yes. Yeah. Uh, I worked for six months looking after a 40 year old man. Paralyzed from the neck down. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. So you're good with feeding, and Sorry. you're good with feeding. Feed, feeding. feeding, yeah. Feeding, yeah, yeah. yeah. Obviously, this is a, an extremely important job for me, um, because the person who's looking after me has to take care of me and essentially make sure I stay alive. Because um, everybody else in my family is out for uh, the majority of the day, whether they're at work or at university. Um, so he's got to be there the entire time, seemed to be onto it, and he's had experience in this kind of thing before, so um, it looked really good, and I found myself a new caregiver. I'm so glad. <laughs> <laughs> oh, awesome. <laughs> All right, so the green one is mine. 
Ja. Toothpaste on. Vent. Enough. Um, and also put a little bit of water on. Hot or cold? Ah, uh, cold. Just tiny bit. Right. Okay. Um, it's best to start with just the top teeth because I feel a massive overbite. Yep. So, yes. so top front teeth? Being dependent on others for practically everything can be negative, but it's brought me a lot of good people, a lot of good friends, and I am independent in the ways that matter to me. The outside of the teeth at the back of my mouth. to my lips as well. If I ever want to go out, either I have to book a taxi or I have to hope that somebody who's with me can drive the van. I am independent in the ways that matter to me. Um, I do a lot of writing and that's where I can be me at my most. I mean, I've written an article on freedom before. I think the closest thing to freedom you have is your decisions that you make. So the idea of a personal space in anybody's life, I think, is pretty much irrelevant. The closest thing you can have to a personal space is inside your head. So firstly, what the hell is a disability? Um, disability, as defined by dictionary.com, is a lack of adequate power, strength, or physical or mental ability. Um, that definition is utter crap. I attend university. I maintain a relatively good social life. I maintain a religious life. Um, and I'm able to use the talents that I have. So there's a lot of things that I'm now able to do that really don't fit with that, um, that don't fit with that definition. I write lyrics. I have, I'm, I'm gonna kind of spam myself here. I have a YouTube channel where a friend of mine sings and does the piano and guitar. Um, but because of my disability, I'm restricted in that I can only write the lyrics and music. I'm not able to do the singing, I'm not able to play the instruments. Um, I would sing for you guys now, but you, I'd probably make your ears bleed. I'm a big fan of professional wrestling, which admittedly is quite sad, I do realise. But although I love professional wrestling, my disability restricts me from ever becoming a professional wrestler. To society in general, I think it's a bit of a shock that people like my brother and myself are starting to kind of move forward and show that we do have something to contribute. For people who know us, it's no surprise um, that, we've been able to, that we've been able to accomplish so much. Okay, the fan. 
Reigns, blah, blah, blah. WrestleMania, the grandest stage of the world. WWE Champion, United States Champion, and he's going to destroy you. I made the character based on myself, so um, it's pretty much just who I am, or who I um, try to be. He's kind of based on, you know, the fact that I would like to maybe be a bit of a nice person, do my best to help out people. Um, but then when push comes to shove, I'd like to kick somebody's butt. Kapow. And you're down. So embraced my broken body, rock me slowly as time stands still. Feel my tears, my weary soul. I was cold until you And now you fall into my arms Cause I won't let go Now I am home and I won't leave I'm where I belong I can't make up for the time we lost So I'll write you what I feel in your song When I was 15, I believe it was, I was just lying in bed one night listening to music and I suddenly realised that despite having friends at school and despite having a good family around me that loved me and one that I loved in return, I, there was still something missing. closed my eyes and I said, God, if you are out there, if you are listening, I'll give this church thing a go. In return, I want a social life. I want a life. Being at that church was the first time in my life that I felt that being me was okay. And it doesn't matter what problems we have because we can overcome them through the atonement of Jesus Christ because he loves us that much. Every now and then, I'll just close my eyes and say, God, why did you do this? I hate you. You, know, you suck at this. If you love me, you shouldn't have done this. Blah, 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 blah. Um, you know, just have a little hissy fist in my head, essentially. But, I mean, <laughs> he's God. Of course he can deal with it. And of course he can see why I'm doing it. Everybody has a time when things are just, just seem too hard in their lives. There's nobody on earth who doesn't complain about something, even if it's only in their heads. By having that um, kind of clearer perspective on life that he offers when I'm at my worst and most vulnerable, that just makes me a lot happier with who I am or when I am happy. I was meant to die at two years old, so as far as I'm concerned, I could die tomorrow. I don't think I will. I think I've got quite a while left, but the fact is I've exceeded my expiration date by so damn far. <laughs> Thank you.
Uh, there's times when you think about what's going to happen, but mm. you just really got to take it one day at a time. What, what, what will happen will happen. Well, I believe mine get quite sick sometimes. Yeah, and they're in hospital, and it's quite hard to get through that. And like, it's just a scary time for us. We all sort of pull together as a family, and I don't know, it just always works out in the end. Of course I would love to stay on Earth for quite a while more and to continue to learn and discover and do new things. But if I did die tomorrow, I'd be fine with that because I'm just not scared about death. I've become a lot more comfortable with who I am and what I've done in my life. I won't let go.